Hello everyone, welcome back to Valhalla. Yo, we paid our rent. I feel so good about this. Jill says, we have a roof over our heads for another month. And Four says, yay! God, I can't imagine living month to month. I mean, most of us have been there at some point or another. It sucks, doesn't it? Let's read some news and then go to work, shall we? All right, surviving in Glitch City. I think this one is new. Oh no, we already read this. Someone was coming uh, to Glitch City for the first time and they were asking for advice. We did read that already, so that's not new. Augmented Eye has new stuff for us though. New Lilum regulations. The current regulations preventing Lilum from looking too human have been working well so far, but Glitch City's government is planning to create even more new laws so as to enforce robot-like features among the Lilum in a bid to reduce identity theft. Glitch City, the first nation to adopt the current standard in artificial intelligence and robotics, was the first to allow robots into normal society, quickly giving them necessary rights so as to sustain a long-term experiment about their role in human evolution. Unfortunately, the first year saw numerous reports of identity theft, resulting in the need for more stringent measures. Huh. Jill says, but people look more robot-like by the day, too. That is true, like with all the, you know, parts that they can get. After the Great Earthquake, salvage agents are the new rage. The Great Earthquake that sank large portions of the world five years ago also created an unexpected new profession, salvage agents. Summer Aki is one of these salvagers and she shares her experience with the augmented eye. Seeing big cities like Tokyo and places like Caracas, several kilometers below the ocean surface, that's something that gets to you, you know? Millions live there before the Great Earthquake and it's on me to retrieve their memories and their lives. Huh. They're working to retrieve items from a research facility in Japan. Four says, and Australia? And Jill says, Australia is a tad more complicated than that. Wait, so they're, are they insinuating that Australia sank? The whole, the whole country? Oh my God. Ew. Grand Slam Fighters crowns a new heavyweight champion. Glitch City's most popular pro wrestling promotion crowned a new heavyweight champion yesterday with giant Yusuke taking the gold from fellow Japanese wrestler Justin Liger. After previous champion 66 American Kid was forced to relinquish the title due to a head injury, GSF decided to hold a tournament to find a new title award holder. The match ended an epic 30 minute bout, but Giant Yusuke applying the master German suplex for the three count. Huh. I won't rest till I beat him clean, says Amer he's waiting for American Kid to recover. Oh wow. Jill says, so exciting, if I only understood what's going on. Well, I bet Dana does though. All right, anything else? Oh, Kira wrote about Valhalla. Look, oh my gosh. The name sounds silly and a bit hard to pronounce. Good thing it's actually called Valhalla. The funny numbers and letters are just a code. Anyway, I visited this cute and small bar downtown twice after getting lost for a bit. I think the area was called Neon District. At first, it was a bit scary because I forgot my way back, but once I got in there, I felt really safe and at home. The bartenders are a bunch of sweethearts and the boss was such a class act. I even took a photo with her and sent a video to her little sister. I look forward to visiting again. The drinks were very tasty even though they weren't made of real alcohol. Man, Kira's not only outing herself where she goes to drink, but she's giving us like publicity. That's so cool. Jill says, I don't know if I want the bar to suddenly become a fan tourism hotspot. Yeah, but Jill, doesn't that mean the bar might stay open? Isn't that what she wants? I don't know, that's what I would want. Let's go to work. Like, how could they close a bar that was that popular, right? Good evening. That's New Year's Eve, is it not? <laughs> Gil, are you having Shine Spark? Ah, oh, hey Jill. Are you okay? Are you in love, maybe? Uh, nothing of the sort. I'm fine. Right. What's up, Jill? No, seriously, did you fuck? Men only get so happy after they've fucked. <laughs> I mean, I guess. That's not... Oh my god, you totally fucked. Was it Alma? Did you have seven minutes in heaven with her? No, I didn't. In any case, congratulations. I haven't seen you this happy since... Uh, well, never. Today's escapades will bring us to a familiar place and... Oh, shit. Gil, I'm out. I'm gonna... 
Not so fast, flat bartender, if that's even your real name. Well, here come all the aids. Oh, my girl, it's Twitch again. How are you, Twitch? Oh, no. <laughs> Last time my viewership had a weird peak while I was passed out. So, I'm here to find out what made people so interested. Uh-huh. Uh? Do I have something on my face? Ah, oh, this guy totally fucked. <laughs> WWW, here comes the wateries. No doubt about it, that gleam in his eye is unmistakable. Oh, Gillian's out, he's left. Also, if you can hear shit in the background, uh, it's the garbage trucks. Just pretend it's part of the city life and everything, you know? Oh, whatever. Just keep it down. Ah, Jill, you're hit. Isn't that the passed out girl from two weeks ago? <laughs> I'm not here. Oh, sorry. Wait, what? Wait, wait, well, hello? Where did, where did everybody go? I'll be back in my office then. Anyway. What the fuck? That was all before we even started. Oh my god. Time to mix drinks and change lives. <gasps> I was hoping that we would see Betty and Deal again because we didn't even get to invite them to the party. I missed them. Hello, you two. Hi, how is it going? Um, you're too happy and you're too mopey. What happened? I was right. Eh? That Laura girl was head over heels for him. I was right on the money. Deal, did that girl fall for you? I mean, I can see why. You're very handsome. Um, say, that girl. I'm not here. Oh, she's in the back somewhere doing something. Sorry. Isn't she the one that passed out last time? Right, I forgot they were here for that. It's <laughs> just weird that they're here again. Anyway, Betty was right, and that serves a beer. And you? I'm fun. All right, lar large ass, large ass beer for Betty, because I love seeing her. Oh my god, yes I do. I love seeing Deal more though. Well, I love, no, I love both of them. The honestly, they're kind of like a set now. Like, one without the other would seem kind of weird. At least I think. Uh, eight. Mix it. Here you go, dear. For the occasion. All right. So the girl was actually infatuated with him. You should have seen her, screaming from the top of her lungs that she liked him. And him just standing there thinking. Oh, <laughs> that's happened to me before. Deal, what happened? Just like that. In retrospect, it was a tad too cliched for my taste. Ooh. Still, I knew she liked him. I was right, I was right. He doesn't seem particularly happy. He never is. Unlike your co-worker, holy shit, did he fuck? Oh no, everyone's busting on Guild today. It is the best thing ever. Guild, did you actually fuck though? You can tell us. You're making it too obvious, Gil. How? That beaming face is unmistakable. The face of a guy that got some and enjoyed every moment. Back to Deal, though. Like I said, he seems lost and thought, Yeah, Deal, how come you didn't fuck? What's going on with this? Victories like these are few and far between. Let me enjoy myself. Oh, can I get something non-alcoholic? That's not how you drown your sorrows, piece of scrap. I'll have a bloom light. Okay. I need to serve a bloom light and something non-alcoholic. Okay, let's get that bloom light first. Uh... Five, six, seven, eight. Man, Betty's not gonna let him live it down. That sucks. He's probably moping because she's just like all about being right. Not about not fucking, I would assume. Because he could have, from what I heard, <laughs> understand here, if she if she liked him that much. Rocks. Mixed. Guys, it's been a while since we've done a bloom light. Okay, and next, uh I don't know. Flavor. What's non-alcoholic? Um I don't know. They don't they don't go by that in these, do they? All right. Well, you know what it's time for. Something that says optional <laughs> comma train. Blue fairy is optional. What is oh, what does deal usually get? He doesn't get a blue fairy though. Definitely not. Not a crevice spike. A fluffy dream. I think he's got one of those before. I can't remember, it's been so long since he's come in. Uh, 
gosh, I don't know. Sparkle Star is. Sugar Rush is. I want to say he's gotten that before, and I want to say maybe a Sunshine Cloud also? Oh, shoot. Spicy. Wait. Oh, this doesn't even have Cometrine at all. I guess I could serve any of them, right? Okay, well, I'm gonna give him this one. It doesn't even have it. This is probably what he wants. Right, because I forgot that there's ones that actually just don't have it at all involved. Here, you can have a big one of these, too. It should be fine. I mean, I don't need to pay the rent anymore, but still, I want good tips. All right, blend it. There you go. Here. Thanks. Same. Celebrate all you want, but I'm freaking out here. What's wrong, Dill? Has a girl never liked you before? I find that hard to believe. I know nothing about relationships. I have no idea what to do. Oh no, oh that's so sweet. Well, for starters, what do you think, Jill? Me? Her? Betty, I've seen a few of your relationships, remember? <laughs> Owned. Aside from Veronica, there's Angela, Pamela, Sandra, Rita, Monica, Erica, Tina, Mary, and Jessica. Did he just fucking sing Mambo number five to me? Oh my god, the reference is old. Or well, should I say? Didn't share the bed sheets, snores like a pig, cold feet, shampoo waster, chocolate addict. Too religious, fan of the wrong rugby team, teetotaler, and chews with mouth open. Oh, gross, no. <laughs> That's a deal breaker right there. Oh no, Betty, you totally just got called out, girl. I love their dynamic, holy crap. It's like me and Chilled. <laughs> what do you think, Jill? That you must be quite the heartbreaker to have so many relationships in a short period of time. I mean, about piece of scrap situation. Well, deal, do you like her? And thank you. I'm not the right person for this. Uh, Gil? Um, <laughs> God, he's still on fucking cloud nine. Or is it fucking in cloud nine? What about... <laughs> sneaky sneaky. I'll be damned, she actually hides pretty well. Oh. For starters, how do you feel about her? That's the question you gotta ask. Deal, do you like her? I don't know. I don't know her that well. Well, you could start there. Ask her out sometime, get to know her. Maybe she'll change her mind. Maybe you'll change yours. In the end, you lose nothing by... What? I'm just realizing I'm giving love advice to a Lilim. So, I don't know how well it applies to you. Uh, these things are human and all but organs nowadays anyway. Even if that's the case, it's interesting that she felt that way towards him. Why wouldn't she? This fellow's a good catch if I do say so myself. Ah, oh, Betty, being nice, that's- he is, you can tell. And like I said, humans and all, but organs. You surely encountered Lilum that you sometimes forget are not humans. Well... We live in weird times, but hey, that only makes it more interesting. It's odd going to other cities and not seeing the same integration of Lilum, though. Well, Glitch City's pretty much the cradle of social experiments involving Lilum integration, so... <clears throat> anyway, just try to get to know her. You'll find out how you feel after. Yeah, I think I'll try it. Aw, oh, good for you, Deal. Well, I'm sad it's not me, but that's okay. It's quite the uninspired advice if you ask me. Well, I think basic is best if he doesn't know what to do. Anything else? Let's commemorate the occasion with a piano man and a piano woman. All right. Going with the class acts. Let's do it. Piano man. These are already large, so I don't have to do anything. What is streaming Chan doing back there, I wonder? What's she up to? She's gonna cause me some trouble, I bet. On the rocks. Mixed. Piano man, next. Piano woman. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Aged. Mixed. There you go. Serve it. For my piano man and my piano woman. Here. And now, we reach a stalemate. I'd normally take the piano man, but I feel there's a symbolic value in taking the woman. Hmm. Why order like that, then? Oh, Betty's drunk. <laughs> Good. It's about time I actually managed to get somebody drunk in here. Huh? 
I hate Laura. You what? She's gonna take you away from me. Oh, of course. Maybe they're not romantically involved, but they're like best friends, right? And that always kind of happens a little bit. When your best friend goes off and has somebody suddenly, it's a little, it can be a little bit of a shock to someone as close as they are. You're my piece of scrap, not hers. You're mine, mine. Betty, maybe you should rethink. Like maybe you actually might like to be in a relationship with Deal. I mean, weirder things have happened. Betsy, you don't own me. Besides, I can't for the life of me leave you alone. I feel like the moment I let you out of my sight, you'll just crash. Oh, Deal, that's so sweet. <laughs> That's not a laughing matter. You need someone making sure you aren't kicking people. It's not normal, you know? Aw, oh, Betty. Dill might not be able to live another life without taking care of you. He's got stuff to do. Come on, now. Get your shit together. Besides, it's not like I have something with her yet. You're right. So you won't leave me? Oh, I'd worry myself sick if I left you to your own devices, honestly. This relationship is so pure. We should leave now. Oh yeah. We're holding a small New Year's party tomorrow. God, it's tomorrow. I keep thinking New Year's Eve is like every night so far <laughs> because they can't count. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't know if you want to come. We'll come. Are you sure? We will. Fine. We'll be here, Jill. Anyway, see you then. Bye, Bill. Please come again. Oh my god. Hello. Party? <laughs> I'd love to go. But I told everyone that tomorrow I'd end the gear with the party myself, so... <gasps> Sorry. It's... it's okay. I totally forgot she was already here. Man, that was such bliss. <laughs> Still, I can see how traffic spike. Things get fun here. And just like the last time, I need to show my viewers something fun. Give me something nasty. Something nasty. What did she get last time? What's nasty? I don't know. Spicy? Sour? Bubbly? Bitter. Hmm. What would she want? She wants something nasty again. What did she get last time? God, it was either like a gut punch or a crevice spike or something? I don't know. I do not know. I seriously don't. Search by flavor by type. Girly. Manly, classic, promos. Everyone says the promo drinks are gross. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know. Guys, I don't know anymore. I'll just make this because I just made it. <laughs> and I know how when it's a big drink and I don't have to fuck with it. <laughs> I don't know. Streaming Chan's not going to care. She's probably going to think it's all gross. On the rocks. Yeah, it's just sour and strong. That's probably gross, right? I don't know. I don't know, girl. Give it a try. Here. Oh, this is the... I... <laughs> oh, hold on. I should have given her, like, a gut punch. <laughs> Anime was a mistake. It was nasty, all right. And now it's time for me to be a nice person and give you something nice. Huh? It's the second time I'm here, so it's only natural you'd get your own copy of my theme song. Uh, no, thank you. Don't be shy, let me give you one. I mean it, no thank you. <laughs> well, too late, it's already in your player. Oh, she put it in the jukebox somehow, did she? That kid, how in the ever-living fuck did you do it? <laughs> magic. That's bullshit. Video editing magic. Did you just hack into the music player? <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Oh. Yeah, whatever. Hey. Weren't there dogs? Last time you talked about this place like it was like zany heaven of sorts, but I see the same shit. Seriously, no decorations or anything? Good question, where are the dogs? I either haven't paid enough attention to their arrival or they haven't come. Idols, newspaper, managers, talking dogs, and yet yeah, this is the same old bar like last time. I might sue you for fake advertising, you know. Now that I think about it, maybe Voss just donated money to the CIRA thing. And then tricked the dog into coming here as a part-timer for kicks. Oh, well. Uh, anything interesting lately? 
I mean, it's not like I missed them, but they should at least show their faces. Hello? Oh, sorry. What did you say? I was asking if there were any news stories. This is not a newspaper, you know. Nor is it a crazy stories on demand streaming service. <laughs> That's a big fat lie and you know it. Oh, Anna. Shut up. But I said nothing. <laughs> uh, I meant... So shut that idea up. Yeah, that. I won't. Last time I came here, the viewers should peek for some reason, and I want to find out why. Maybe pretty boy over there can tell us the story of who he fucked. <laughs> He's so distracted, he won't even make a retort. Amazing. I guess there's something worth saying, but... <gasps> then I want to hear it! Oh, Jill, you're going to do it. Well, Kira, Mickey came yesterday again. You're shitting me. You expect me to believe she came all the way here again? Bitch, she wrote about it in her vlog. Do you even have proof like that glass from last time? Well, if I may interject. You've been listening, boss? The walls are pretty thin. Oh. Anyway, she did. I even took a pic with her. She did what? Ah. Let's see, let's see. Why, 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 why? I tried to make an appointment with her and she's always busy. But you sit there and like she just comes waltzing over? This is not fair. Hey, if I knew how the hell stuff like that happened, I'd share my secret. I was just as baffled as you are right now. Yeah, but I bet you're not even like that much of a fan anyway, are you? You're not wrong. Can you at least tell me how nice she was as a client? Very graceful client, much like the last time. A really nice girl. <gasps> I'm gonna give you my number. If she ever comes back, you let me know, you hear? I'm not gonna let you keep her to yourself. I really doubt she'll come back again, though. She already came twice. I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> uh, I need something to down this anger with. Give me something girly. Okay, girly. Like, um, uh, I don't know, sugar rush? It's girly. Uh-oh, let's make it a big one. Can you get streaming chan drunk? I don't know. I'm not even sure. Well, <laughs> if I do this, you can't. It's fine, right? Let's we'll just go all the way. Balls to the wall with it. Hi, this might kill you. That'll get your viewership up. up. Here. <sighs> Let's just chill a bit. It's still not fair. You know, you're boring today. You're not chatting that much, nor are you doing anything funny. Maybe the whole peak viewership thing is just you? Huh? Maybe the Spar and me both had nothing to do with the spike. Maybe you were just that good. <gasps> are you hitting on me? I am not. In fact, I'm kind of trying to get you to leave. Pronto. Don't be so hard on the girl, she's fun. Another nuisance shows up. Ah, Joe hates me. It's not hate, it's just... Wait, I'm not having this conversation again. Oh, boring. Hey, 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 you're curious, right? About fuckboy's partner. Want to know who it was? Do you know? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. That maybe not settles it then, not taking any chances. Oh, come on. Uh, bartender, you're making lots of faces. It's nothing, really. Did the two bartenders break or something? Oh my god, should I call manager? Tech support? Hey, Joe. Inner and outer voice, remember? Fuck. What? Who fucked? Like, aside from that guy, I mean. Uh, uh, uh. Say, you're oddly calm today. Well, I've been getting more sleep lately. And that way, I don't feel like if I stop speaking, I'll die. Crash is one hell of a drug. Like, and wouldn't you know, I can actually make it premium time if I go commando. Oh, everyone wants premium time. I'd like to see it. I'm just saying. Huh. But come on. I'm getting bored out of my ass here. Do something. Look, she's not a trained monkey. <laughs> come on now. I'm not a dog. You can't just ask me to roll over, you know. Mind if I entertain you a bit then? Boss? You and Gil take a break. I'll entertain the Missy here. Alright. 
Ah, Jill, by that I meant take Gil with you. I don't want him humming to the middle of the road and right and to Truck's grill. <laughs> grill Gil. Right. All right, Gil, come with me. Huh? Oh, Gil, you better tell me what the hell you were up to. I need to know. Inquiring minds need to know what happened here. All right, so in the next one, I wonder who will come by. And then tomorrow, for sure. <laughs> or the... <laughs> I don't even know when is New Year's. It's coming, though, I swear. I can't wait for the party. It's going to be so great. But I wonder who we'll see next after our break. So, so far, it's been really good. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Toodaloo.